Second derivative is what we're looking for. That's what this says. So we want to derive this thing twice. So first we got to find dy dx. So that's our goal. If you want the second derivative, first you got to hunt for the first derivative. So we'll derive both sides of this equation so that there's a dy dx in the equation. And when you do that, you get 2x plus this middle part here requires the product rule. Always you put that in parentheses when you do it. So the derivative of x is 1 times y, that's 1, plus x times the derivative of y, which is dy dx. And that's plus the derivative of y squared, which is 2y dy dx. And that equals 0. And if you solve that for dy dx, you should end up with negative 2x minus y over x plus 2y. That's our first derivative. And I get that real quick just by, you can see all the terms that have a dx or dy dx on right here. So you leave them here, you would move these two over this side by subtracting them. That's minus 2x minus y. Then you'd factor out dy dx and divide by x plus 2y. So that's where that derivative comes from. Now we need the second derivative. Well, all I'm going to do is derive my first derivative again. I know, crazy, right? So the second derivative, which remember, this just means the same exact thing as y prime prime. Okay, same exact thing. We got to do the quotient rule here. The quotient rule says low times d high. Well, the derivative of the top is negative 2 minus dy dx. And that's minus high negative 2x minus y d low, which is 1 plus 2 dy dx. That's the derivative of the bottom. And that's all over the bottom squared. x plus 2y squared. Okay, so this is looking ugly. We want to move and you. Oh, all this stuff, come on. Give me that. There we go. Let's move him down to here. Okay, so we got to simplify this down, and it's not going to be super great. Um, but we're going to do it anyway. So here we go. The second derivative is going. I, I know I sound super enthralled with that. I'm just, this, is, this is a messy problem. Why, why would I choose this? I don't know. But since I did, and I'm already working on it, let's go ahead and finish it. I'm going to distribute up here this x plus 2y. I'm going to foil that out to this here. So we're really going to get, watch, watch the magic, negative 2x minus x dy dx. Cool. Minus 4y. And then minus 2y dy dx. That's what I get from forming these, these two things out, four terms. And now this negative and the negative negative here, we can factor out a negative and make this a positive. But we still have to foil all this junk out. So we're going to get plus 2x plus 4x dy dx. That's from 2x times 2 dy dx. Then we get y times 1 and y times 2 dy dx. So we get plus y plus 2y dy dx. And that is still all over, whoa, 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 sorry, all over, there's one big fraction bar, x plus 2y squared. Whew, okay. So the calculus part of this wasn't too bad. We just did the quotient rule, really. It's just simplifying it all down. That's kind of annoying. But we're going we're gonna to do it here. We're going to finish it out. Let's see what we get here. Let's see if we can combine anything. We have negative 2x plus 2x. Well, that just goes away. Hallelujah. We have minus 4y plus y. Well, that's minus 3y. So we've got the second derivative here. I'm just simplifying things down. It is negative 3y. Okay, so that was negative 4y plus y. That went away. We have minus x dy dx and plus 4x dy dx. Well, that's plus 3 dy dx. Okay, so that's this, minus 4, or minus x dy dx plus 4x dy dx. And then we've got minus 2y dy dx plus 2y dy dx. Well, that goes away too. So our, der our second derivative really just turned out to be this kind of thing. Or not this kind of thing, this nice looking thing here. This is way nicer than I expected it to be. All right, see, I'm not that much of a jerk giving me these kind of super difficult problems. That worked out well. And now all that's left to do is plug in what the first derivative is. That's why I've got him hanging out on the bottom, so I remember what he was. And simplify that down. So the second derivative is really negative 3y plus 
3 times the derivative, which is negative 2x minus y over x plus 2y. Whoops. And that's all over x plus 2y squared. So all I did was I plugged in dy dx became this thing. Okay? So, let me get rid of that. That's what the first derivative was. Now I'm just going to simplify this big thing here. Well, the only problem with it is we've got a complex fraction going on. We have this little fraction in this big fraction. So to get rid of that, we multiply by the denominator that we do not want. That's x plus 2y over x plus 2y. Okay, I don't know why I have a half a parenthesis here. Cool. And when we multiply that in, simplifying this further and further and further, here it comes. We distribute x plus 2y to 3y and to this fraction here, but the x plus 2y is cancel. So we end up with negative 3y times x plus 2y. That's not too bad. Plus 3 times negative 2x minus y. Because the x plus 2y is cancel here, and you multiply that up. And this is all over x plus 2y to the third power. And now all that's left to do is to simplify this thing down one more time by foiling out and combining like terms. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to get negative 3yx, so the second derivative, which looks like this, is negative 3yx minus 6y squared. Whew, minus 6x minus 3y all over x plus 2y squared. Now, I don't know if it's possible to make this look any nicer. Um, I'm trying to look back at my original curve and see if I can make a substitution to make it look a little bit nicer. I've got the y squared and the xy, but I don't have an x squared, so that's kind of cruddy. But I see if I factor out a two for, or three from here, I'm going to get 2x and 1y, so that won't cancel. Nothing really works out here for me. I'm going to let this be. This is my second derivative. It might simplify down some. I don't see it right now, so I really don't care too much about it. But there you go. Remember, the steps for finding a second derivative, derive it the first time, then derive it a second time, and plug back in what dy dx was, and just simplify it.